Hey guys, Targo Cycle on FPV, and I'm working on a Jumper T8 SG Plus radio that is uh, bricked. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm working on here. So here it is, right there, right. So <clears throat> basically, when <clears throat> when this turns on, uh, we get no screen at all. It used to be a you get a USB symbol, which I'll show you. I'm gonna, we're going to get back there too, and I'm going to show you how to get out of that. But when you get to this point, uh, this is actually beyond that, where you have literally the wrong firmware has been loaded and the machine won't go any farther. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk you through this very quickly. Uh, it's not a very difficult fix uh, once you get everything in order. Now I've already done it once uh, and I wanted to test a new firmware out before I put it uh, on the video. So some of these files are already loaded, but I'm gonna show you guys what to do, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, let me share my uh, computer screen real quick. I'm gonna show you where you, where you need to go to get this uh, taken care of. So let me wait for that to pop up. There it is. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to put this online here. There you go. Okay. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to deviationtx.com. And when you get there, you're going to go to downloads. Okay. Once you get to downloads, you're going to go to the DFU USB tool and get the Walkera. And then just get the, um, get the uh, Google Drive version if you want. And download the newest version, which they don't seem to be updating this much, but I, I downloaded 2.3.1 right here. So once you download that and you uh, get that onto your computer, uh, I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Now, I've already done that here, so let me show you on my downloads. Uh, my deviation is right here. That's the upgrade tool right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, show you guys what that looks like, right? So this is the download that you get right here. And then you're going to extract that download. And... Uh, I'm gonna to try to make you a folder. So once you once you download it, right? I'm just gonna pretend that I made this on my desktop. So once you download it, let me make a folder here uh, called um, uh, Jumper uh, T8SG. Okay. So this is the first download that we're gonna get, right? This is the one I just showed you. So get the Walkera download, uh, and you're gonna download that one, and you can get it from there. Um, uh, like I said, from the Google link that they give you. Then go back. And uh, what you want to do next is you want to go back to downloads and now you want to get your, I'm going to go to nightly builds and I'm going to take uh, the most recent nightly builds, which will be the 20th uh, of September. And I'm going to take the uh, T8SG V2 Plus, which I'm going to find right here. And that's this one right here. So I'm going to download this one. I'm going to see if I can save that just to my desktop. So hold on, desktop, T8SG, jump on T8SG. And we're going to paste that here. So let's just say that save. Okay, so these are the two files that we need, okay? So that's how we're gonna start this off. And when, you, when you're in this mode, uh, you're going to, um, let me show you here. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna extract your USB upgrade tool. And what that's gonna give you is this. Now I've already extracted mine, but when you're done, you're gonna end up with this file right here, okay? All right, now, in this case, you can see my STM device in DFU mode right here. If you do not show that, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. If you do not show that, right, so let me go to my control panel and show you what, under device manager what it looks like, okay? I will show you what it looks like when it's wrong, okay? So here's what it looks like when it's right, but let's just make it wrong. Let's go ahead and crash it so that, um, so that we can show you what to do, right? So this, let me see, what do I want to do to crash it? I'm going to go with the Zadig driver and try to change this. So let me go to my downloads. Now, this is just to give you an example of what it looks like when it's wrong, okay? So let me go down here. Should have been in name format, I guess not. We got out here, and where is it? Right. Here. So I'm going to run my Zadig thing, and you're obviously not going to do this, right? What you're going to do is you're going to um, uh, make sure that I'm just going to try to break the driver right now, so I can show you what it is. So I'm going to replace the driver. Uh, let me see. Is that the right one? I think that might be it. We're going to see. We're going to see if this changes over here. STM device and DFU mode. What we want to do is we want to make that change. Okay. As soon as we make, there you go. See how it says STM32 and DFU, right? It looks like it's right, okay? It looks like it's right, and you're looking at this going, oh yeah, it's in DFU mode, that's great. The problem is, is the Walkera software will not recognize that. So if you open their program, okay? Let me wait for this to get done now. I've got to wait for Zadig to tell me it's done, all right? All right, it's going to take just a minute. But again, this is just to show you what happens when you have the wrong driver loaded. Let me start closing out some of my windows here. Okay, it says it was installed correctly, right? Right. Except watch this. So now when I go to run that file, 
Look, see how it doesn't find it now? Available DFU devices. So even though it says STM32 in DFU, it's the wrong one. So if you see this, and you see this says STM32 DFU, right click on this and left click on uninstall device and click delete the driver software, uninstall. Especially if you guys have been doing drones, right? And you're using the Zadig driver to put your flight controller DFU mode. You may get this conflict all of a sudden uh, where you're getting the wrong DFU driver loaded, okay? So once you delete it and tell it to uninstall a driver, go to action and click scan for hardware changes, okay? Now you're gonna find the right driver right here, STM device in DFU mode, perfect, okay? If you don't find the driver, it's actually loaded here in the file that they give you, and you can um, always point to that. So uh, if you were to, let me show you where the folder is. So when you extract this uh, file, this uh, Walkera folder, right, it's gonna put it in the C drive, and it's gonna put it under x86, and then you're gonna go to DaVinci Upgrade Tools, and then right here are your drivers, and there's also the drivers here for you, okay, to for the right STM device, so if you can't find it after you've uninstalled, then you can go to this folder and point to it. But in this case, we have it. So now you can see it loaded here. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to go and get the right firmware, right? So we just downloaded that right firmware. So I'm gonna tell it to search. Now I've already done this firmware once before. So it's in my downloads folder, but I told you to put it in the um, desktop. So that is when you go to your, uh, when you go to your desktop, let me go to my desktop. And here's that folder we created, right? Oops, I didn't extract it, so hold on. Let me go extract it real quick. Go to my desktop, T8SG. Okay, so uh, we need to, this is the deviation. This is the new firmware that we just downloaded. So right click on it and left click on extract all. Okay, and it's gonna put all those files here in our folder. Okay, and there they are right here, right? So now you have the extracted version right here. So when you're running your program, the Walkera program, which I need to find it right here, I'm gonna point to my desktop and I'm gonna go to my folder here and there it is. And there's my firmware that I want to load. So I'm going to click open. And then I'm going to click upgrade. And click yeah. It's just saying you're in DFU mode, so it doesn't know if it's the right version. It's the right version if you're familiar with the radio. T8SG+. There we go. Click yes. So it's going to go ahead and do the update real quick, okay? And if you want, you can, uh, yeah, you'll be able to get this done real quickly. Once this is done, what's going to end up happening is your radio will then be able to boot into USB mode. Now, USB mode uh, is a little different here because mine's probably going to work because I've already done this once, but I wanted to do this again for you guys. So when it boots into USB mode, what it's doing is it's saying, okay, you need to format the, uh, well, actually, I'm going to unplug this and force it into USB mode. Then I'm going to format the firmware, and then I'm going to reload it so that I can duplicate exactly what you guys are going to see, okay? So here, you're watching the, let's do this. Let's do a three, one, two, three. Okay, and let's do that real quick, all right? So you can see our radio, we still have the, oops, oh, yeah, okay, I to push the button. We still have the two lights on here, the green lights, and we're still loading our firmware at 45%, almost done. Getting there, almost done. All right, so it says upgrade is successful, so quit. Now I'm gonna go and safely eject. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the USB. I'm gonna hold my power button down. Okay, so as you can see, now the radio's off. Okay, now I'm gonna hold my enter button down here, bottom button on the left, and when I'm gonna press the power button, then I'll let them both go, like that. Now I'm gonna have on my screen, uh, let me see, where am I at here? Uh, oh no, so hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, I need to get to USB mode. There you go, sorry. So uh, let me explain what I just did, I apologize. So if you hold the bottom one down and hit enter, you go into DFU mode. I'm sorry, if you hold the bottom button down and hit power, like that, you go into DFU mode. If you hold the top one and hit power, you go into USB. So some of you will see a screen that looks like this one, right? This is this constant USB. This means the files on the radio are corrupted, okay? So here's what you're gonna do in that case. You're gonna go into USB mode, and if you're already there, follow these instructions. Okay, so you're gonna find your, um, find your uh, drive that pops up. Now, I've already repopulated with this, but let's assume that yours are messed up. So find your drive. In this case, it's USB F. Uh, so I'm gonna right click on that and left click on format. Make sure you're in uh, file system FAT and not uh, EX FAT. So FAT would be the file system. And then just quick format, you can leave it as USB F and click start. Okay, it's gonna delete everything that's on there. Boom. So now if you look and you think, oh, wow, I think I'm done. 
I'm going to unplug this, power it off. Watch what I have. Now I don't have to push any buttons. If I just turn the power on, I'm going to see a whole bunch of problems here, right? So let me turn this off again. Okay, go back into USB mode. Just to show you guys that it can't boot like this, right? Now, you, there's your blank drive, it opens. So now go back to your deviation uh, firmware folder and highlight everything here and then hold your control key down. And let me just let me just make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see this. Okay, so let's do one, two. Okay, so highlight all the files in that firmware folder and then hold your control key down and left click on debug and uh, left click on the DFU file. So you're gonna left click on these two. The debug file, which is a compressed zip, and then the deviation TNSG, this DFU. Those do not need to go on here and they won't fit. The rest of them, just drag them and drop them right here. Okay, and let it copy over. Trying, I was trying to finish this in 10 minutes, but sorry, I'm not gonna, it doesn't look like it's gonna make it 10 minutes, okay? But it's getting close, all right? Now, once it's done, we're gonna do a safe eject again, and then we're gonna power the radio up, and we should be back to new, okay? Now, if you had models on here or what have you, you can back them up when that, if your drive opens. In this radio's case, there was no reading that drive. So we had to format it anyway because there's no files to save. I would usually just start from scratch if you could. I uh, prefer that method anyway so that nothing gets corrupted, but here we go, ready? All right, so we're done. So what we're gonna do now is let's go now to the radio itself and we're going to do a safe eject on our PC. So just you know, right click and eject USB, remove it all, power it down, hold the power button down until it goes off. Now power it on, and there you go. Your radio is back to normal, okay? And there you go, so you're set. So you can do all your stuff now and your radio is back to normal, that's all you needed, okay guys? Hope that helps, that's a real quick way to get this T8SG Plus uh, back up and running again. Uh, that does cover two issues. So if you actually loaded the wrong firmware and you've bricked it, then you start from the beginning of this video. If what you have is basically you're booting up and you're seeing that USB icon, then you start from the second part where you just get into the drive, format the drive and recopy the stuff. Problem is, if you don't know what firmware was loaded and you copied the wrong files, you're still gonna have a problem. My suggestion, find a firmware, the newest version, go back to it and just start fresh and do the whole thing. All right, if you have any questions, please always go to our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash uh, Cyclone FPV. And then also follow us on Facebook, please. And please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the support helps. All right, guys, other than that, God bless, be safe. Spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of it. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon. Peace.